I'm gonna show you how to ethically use influence and persuasion to create really powerful content for your audience. Look, influence and persuasion is nothing more than a communication style, but a communication style that takes in mind how the human mind processes information. What I'm about to show you in this video could technically be used for bad, and there are people out there that do, but it is my mission to change this planet and end suffering, and I'm gonna give you the same tools they use so that you can ethically get people to listen to what you're saying and suffering in their lives, and so you have the opportunity to add more value to more people's lives. So let's go to the board and break this down and get ready, because what you're about to learn can go pretty deep down the rabbit hole, but if you can master it, it becomes very effective. So let's head over to the board. All right, so like I said, this one might go really deep, really fast. Uh, so I have my notes to make sure we're on track. But the very first thing to creating really powerful content using influence and persuasion is really understanding where our audience is at and where the beliefs are being formed. So we have to start by understanding reality essentially is an individualized thing. For example, uh, if a tree falls down in the woods and I'm there to witness it, for me, it happened. For someone else, it didn't. My version of reality is different than everyone else's. So the way I grew up and the way I experience things, the way I interpret things is different than Spencer's and different than Emily's. And we all have an individualized sense of reality. But that reality is basically created through experiences. Meaning that if I grew up in a household with parents that said, I have to go to college if I wanna be successful, I have to be a doctor if I wanna be successful, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do that, I start to believe that's what success is. Now, someone who didn't grow up in that type of household wouldn't have the same identity or the same belief around what success actually is. And this goes through over and over and over again. So every single person tends to go through experiences or they have a failure and they say they fail with a webinar five times and so now they say, well, I'm not good with webinars, webinars don't work. It's not that webinars don't work, it's just that you failed with five times and you let your experience become a truth and now that is a belief that you live your life by. And we all have it and your industry has this too. So before we know it, we're infested through experiences. We listen to these authorities that have a certain belief system and we start to adapt that belief system. So maybe now we believe that how to content is the only way to grow an audience or we believe that working hard guarantees success because we hear everyone say we hustle uh, you need to hustle, hustle, hustle in order to be successful. So we start to hear all of this stuff, we start to experience all of this stuff, and before we know it without even realizing it, we basically formed our version of reality. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because your industry and your audience is doing the same thing. So before they know it, they're kind of, that's you or your audience, you're stuck inside of a box. A box that you created through beliefs and you created this box of reality. Now. In order to help create content and bust people out of this box, we have to look at what boxes are people living in inside of your industry. So inside my industry, it's things like how-to content is the only way to add value. You need to work your face off or hustle your face off. And there's also a belief that manifestation is what brings you success. These are all beliefs. I'm not saying any of them are right or wrong. I'm just saying they're, they're beliefs that people got indoctrinated into. So we have to first identify what are the beliefs that we want to take a stand either against or for. So, you know, standing against something bad is just as good as standing for something. So before we create any content, we have to understand this and identify what those beliefs are. Now what we want to start to do is get people to move and operate from outside of those beliefs. And this is what I call shifting perspectives. So they have all these things that they think are, are true, but are, is there a way that we can get them to start looking at all of these things from a different perspective and essentially start to break down this box that they created for themselves without realizing that they created it for themselves. So like I said, there's that belief that hustling means that you're gonna guarantee success. So what we can start to do is use slide of mouth patterns. So these are 16 different patterns that Tony Robbins uses and some of the best coaches in the world use to bust people out of their old ways of being or their old beliefs. So what we can start to do with content is identify, here's a belief that our industry has, which is working hard guarantees success and you have to hustle your face off to be successful. All I have to use is a slide of mouth pattern, which is chunking up and say, does everyone who work hard become successful? 
and that's chunking up where we apply the belief to everyone and is it true all the time. Obviously, there's a ton of people who have worked hard and never saw success. So working hard isn't the only thing that's gonna to lead to success. Yet what happens is so many people operate inside this box and they work, 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 because they think that's gonna bring, bring them success and they never actually tackle what really brings people success. And they operate inside this box and it's causing suffering. It's causing them to not see this, the success they want. So now I can create a thought reversal video that busts them outside of that box. Again, it's discrediting the belief and it's starting from the understanding that everything is a belief. And when we can operate there, we create transformational content. We give content that allows people to see things from a different perspective. And when we start to use these slide of mouth patterns, and we start to prove and discredit certain things, we start to get the head bob effect, where when you start to get people and get people to see things in a new light, from a new perspective, they kind of bob their head. Yes, that is me. Oh my gosh, like I've never thought of it that way. There, that is so true. And it all stems from using the slide of mouth patterns. Now, the example I just gave you right now is actually called the thought reversal video. So a thought reversal video is really what we found to be one of the easiest ways to bust people outside of this box using content. So slide of mouth patterns are really one of the best ways to start using influence and persuasion, but they have to start by understanding that everything is a belief. You gotta identify the beliefs that are causing suffering and then you can move people out of it. Now this stuff is so powerful, that's why it's pillar number two of the video 4X effect. And it's been helping unheard entrepreneurs like you move over to the new generation entrepreneurs who stand out because they stand for something. They are seen as thought leaders and they all operate from this understanding right here. So if you wanna learn more about how to use the video 4X effect, how to craft your impactful messaging and then how to get it out there synergistically so it hits the right person at the right time, click the link around this video, grab our free training and I'll see you there.